so what we're looking at today is Michael's cubit. Now a cubit is whenever you bid the opponent's suit. That is the flat definition for a cubit. We used to use cubits to describe all sorts of bids, including bidding showing controls. Like we did last week, after some splinters, you could show some controls, aces or voids, typically. Um, we used to call them cubits, then it got confusing as to which kind of cubit you meant. So we renamed them control bids, and we now use cubit is exactly you bid the opponent's suit. So that's all it means. So there are specific types of qubit, there's the unassuming qubit, the directional asking qubit, I sound very posh, it means bidding the opponent's suit basically. And then there are the Michaels qubit. Now, Michaels qubit was invented by someone, believe it or not, called Michael Michaels. Uh, <laughs> I think that's a poor, uh, 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 the mean parent. Yeah. Um, and he named it after himself, and it is a, it's an overcaller's qubit. So normally your qubiting has the openers side. They overcall and you bid in the interim, but you can bid as the overcallers. Now, in fact, just before I get into Michael's Cupid, we have come across an overcaller's Cupid before in the shape of this creature. So they open one spade, your partner bids two hearts, south passes, west bids two spades. That is an unassuming Cupid, saying, I like your hearts. Can we go to game in hearts? Hey, how good are you for your overcall? That is an overcaller's cupid. That's fairly frequently used. It's quite useful. Uh, the reason it's called unassuming, if you care, is because you're not assuming your partner has an opening hand. Although mm -hmm. they will have close to an opening hand for this bit. Uh, that's not very good, is it? Now, that is what's known as an unassuming cupid. Now, if you bid a direct cupid immediately after their opening bid, if you bid two spades immediately, that can't be an assuming agreeing partner's suit, because partner hasn't got yet, yet got a suit. Mm -hmm. So that means something different. So, what Mr. Michaels uh, invented it as, what you tend to find with people who are deep into bridge is if there's a bid they're not using for something, they want to come up with a use for it. You tend to get obsessed with it. Well, if it goes to, 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 to I bid three diamonds, if that doesn't mean anything, what does it mean? So you, you kind of want to fill your language out, if you like. So they weren't really using this bit for much, other than just a strong hand of some description. So the kind of hand that Michael's cubit applies to is when you want to overcall two suits at once. Something like that. So... I think it's up to be five cards. Yes. So when you, over, when you want to overcall two suits at once, you alright Liz, can you see? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when you want to overcall two suits at once, it's required that you have the requirements to overcall that suit. So therefore you need the five cards and you need a good quality suit. So this Michael's Cupid is quite flashy and doesn't come up that often. But when it does come up, it's so good to describe your hand. So it's a good weapon to have in your arsenal, if you only, even if you only use it once a month. But they're not required to play bridge, they're just sort of a bit of a flashy, frilly bit. So one spade, you want to both bid hearts and diamonds. It would be right to bid hearts if your partner's got hearts, diamonds if your partner's got diamonds and not hearts, and you don't really know. Take out doubles wrong, because partner will bid clubs most of the time. So what you would frequently do without any flashy gadget stuff is you bid your hearts, they, they pass or bid, your partner either raises hearts good or passes, and now you don't know if you've missed a diamond fit or not. And if you just bid your hearts, it takes a long time to convince your partner you've also got a second suit of five cards. You bid hearts, then you bid diamonds, that's five, four, then you bid diamonds again. You're starting to get to the fives level before you actually get your hand across. So, what we use a two spade bid as, a direct <coughs> Q bid, the their opponent's suit, it is alertable, of course, because it is not natural. It says, I want to overcall two suits at once. I have two five card suits plus. Now, what five card suits do you have depends on your agreements here. Now, the classic Michaels agreement is that you have as many majors as possible. If you remember that little tagline, as many majors as possible, you won't go too far wrong. So, in this instance, one major has already been declared by the, by the opponents. So, therefore, this two spade bid isn't spades because the opponents have got spades. So, it's as many majors as possible, which in this case is one hearts. So, you have hearts and another suit.